In today's video, I'm going to say why I resisted integrating Readwise and Obsidian, why I've changed my mind, and then take you through the process of integrating Readwise and Obsidian together. You can jump ahead if you aren't interested in the reasoning and you just want to see how to do this, or stay around for the reasons I think it may be interesting for you. Readwise is a service that collects your highlights from all sorts of different places, the Kindle, Instapaper, web pages, podcasts even, and then brings them together in one place, allows you to add tags and sort them, and sends you reminders of them every day, week, month, as well as providing this export into other note-taking systems. So it's a really great way to get notes or highlights, ideas from anywhere into one central place. I've used it for a while after seeing a few friends recommend it, and I set it up initially with my Evernote vault, my old uh, long-standing Evernote vault. But when I moved to Obsidian, I resisted integrating Readwise with my Obsidian vaults. Now, partially it was because there was no native integration. Even when I heard about the official integration, I was wary. My Obsidian vault is very different to how my Evernote or how my Notion system was before it. In Obsidian, I really want to collect my thoughts, my notes, my summaries of these ideas and, and thoughts rather than getting word for word verbatim. You can watch the video I made on why I don't highlight as much anymore and what I do instead for my reasoning behind that process. However, last week I was talking with Chad Moore on Racket about what's in our Obsidian vaults and he shared how he was using Obsidian uh, with the Readwise integration and that allowed him to go through the things he's highlighted copy some text, put them into perhaps a tweet thread or idea that he's going to use there, and then he can repurpose, reuse it. And that made me think, maybe I ought to give this integration a try. After all, it's only plain text files. I can delete them afterwards if I don't want to use it. And, you know, I can just give it a go and see how it goes. So that's what I'm going to do. Now, there are some possible issues, like I have some very old notes, which I took in my Kindle before I really had a process for highlighting, before I was highlighting for Readwise, where you want to have some context so you understand why you highlighted this one sentence, uh, rather than like highlighting a sentence, which is like the key point in an argument. Uh, yeah, so you know, it turns out that there are different ways that you should highlight things <laughs> when you're trying to save it for later and it's decontextualized. But I think getting this in will be a good and interesting experiment to do. So with that in mind, let's head over to my Obsidian Vault and we can start the setup process. So the first thing to do is head over to the settings and head over to the community plugins and browse for a plugin to install and type in Readwise official and oh look it's already installed because I checked things before I made a video. So what you do here is press the button which says install but I've already installed it. So then once I've done that I can go down to make sure it's active here go down to readwise official. Now I'm going to press connect. It should be fine. It's now connected. Return to Obsidian to synchronize the first sync. Let's go then. So there are a few settings that I could do. Uh, customize base folder. I don't want that. I want, um, I set this up. Let's, let's keep you as read wise for the moment. Configure resync frequency. Let's do it every, um, let's do it every 24 hours. I don't need it more often than that. Probably do it less often, but sync automatically when, well, let's do that then. Customize formatting options, customize template here, that is in there. No, okay, so that's that. Resync deleted files. If you enable, you can re Okay, initiate sync. So now 
it is synchronizing. And I'm exporting it into just the default readwise for the moment because I just want to give it a try. I imagine this could take a while because I should have quite a lot of notes to export from readwise. 120 export in readwise, yeah, saving files. Maybe it won't take long. Wow. Okay. Uh, so let's go into Readwise. I can go into Articles. Uh, let's go into Books. So I was checking this out before. Uh, here are some highlights I have from the book How to Pray by Peter Greek. It's a category book, so I could add extra categories here, I guess. Nine different paths to prayer. It's quite interesting. See, I could now copy this and use it in a note I have on How to Pray. Let's copy you. Let's open up, because I made my own uh panel open uh file why am i doing it this way when well, i could just go open because it was how to pray publish so these are my notes on it yeah nine different parts so i've actually done it here already but if i hadn't uh done this myself then i could um could take it from readwise and put it in here i guess that's perhaps a slight disadvantage of that need to add some more notes into each section so I could go back to my notes on this. Why don't I actually just uh, open in a new pane? Okay, I can now, uh, let's go you, let's just put you here. Okay. So yeah, I can now go through my old notes, find some highlights that are worth thinking about or uh, or, or just find a part which resonated with me and that I can just add it into my original notes, perhaps summarize points in my uh, original notes as well, uh, which is great for a book where perhaps I didn't do as good a job summarizing as uh, perhaps some others. So there you go, I've set it up. I'm going to give it a go. I think I'll change some of the settings. I don't really want to have Readwise as a top level folder. I want to move it into inputs in my organization system. And uh, but I do quite like the, the layout that I've got here. I'm interested by like tweets. Some of those could be quite interesting to look through and articles to go through that. Yeah, here's, here's a topic I care a lot about the read, write, review method again why do this system so yeah there you go that is it setting up the readwise integration with obsidian i guess we'll just have to see if it sticks or not in the next video i'm going to go through setting up another core obsidian feature which i've resisted for a while but it's finally time to jump on that train so if you're interested to see what that is subscribe and hit the bell icon to make sure you don't miss out. See you in the next one.